Welcome back to our channel, History Enthusiasts. In today's video, we dive deep into the life and strategic brilliance of Karl Donitz, the influential commander behind Germany's submarine campaign during World War II. Join us as we uncover the complexities of the U-boat campaign, explore his controversial legacy, and shed light on his enduring impact on naval strategy. Let's get started. Known for his innovative use of submarine warfare, Donitz led Germany's U-boat campaign, aiming to disrupt Allied supply lines and turn the tide of the war. Born on September 16, 1891, in Brno, Germany, Karl Donitz developed a deep fascination with the sea from an early age. He joined the Imperial German Navy in 1910 and swiftly climbed the ranks, earning a reputation for his navigational skills and dedication to his craft. During World War I, Dinitz served on surface ships, gaining valuable experience before transitioning to U-boat warfare. Karl Dinitz's strategic brilliance became evident as he spearheaded Germany's U-boat campaign. Recognizing the potential of submarines to disrupt Allied supply lines, he focused on building a formidable fleet of U-boats and refining their tactics. Dinitz introduced the Wolfpack strategy, which involved coordinated attacks by multiple submarine on convoys. By operating together, U-boats overwhelmed the Allies' convoy protection measures and inflicted significant losses on merchant vessels, disrupting their ability to sustain the war effort. And it's also utilized new technologies, including radar detection devices and improved torpedoes, to enhance the U-boats' effectiveness. The Battle of the Atlantic was a pivotal naval campaign that pitted Germany's U-boats against Allied convoys in the Atlantic Ocean. Under Karl Dönitz's leadership, the Kriegsmarine aimed to sever Britain's vital supply lines, with the ultimate goal of crippling the British war effort. During this protracted battle, Dönitz employed various tactics to maximize U-boat success. He implemented the Happy Time strategy, directing U-boats to target unprotected convoys, resulting in significant losses for the Allies. Dönitz also introduced new U-boat types, such as the Type 7 and Type 9 which offered improved range, speed, and torpedo capacity. However, the tide began to turn against the U-boats as the Allies developed effective countermeasures. Convoy escorts, advanced radar systems, and improved intelligence gathering provided the Allies with crucial advantages. The development of long-range aircraft and the breaking of German Enigma codes further weakened the U-boat campaign. Despite Dönitz's efforts to adapt U-boat tactics, the balance shifted in favor of the Allies. Karl Dönitz's legacy is one of both strategic brilliance and controversy. Following Hitler's suicide, Dönitz briefly served as the president of Germany in the waning days of the war. However, his association with the Nazi regime and his implementation of unrestricted submarine warfare led to his subsequent conviction for war crimes during the Nuremberg trials. Despite the controversies surrounding his actions, Dönitz's contributions to naval warfare cannot be overlooked. His emphasis on submarine warfare techniques and the Wolfpack strategy had a lasting impact on subsequent generations of naval strategists. Dönitz's tactical innovations, although ultimately unsuccessful, pushed the boundaries of naval warfare and continue to be subjects of study and analysis to this day. Karl Dönitz's naval strategies and U-boat campaign left an indelible mark on World War II. From his early naval career to his innovative use of the Wolfpack strategy, Dönitz demonstrated strategic brilliance. While his association with the Nazi regime remains controversial, his contributions to submarine warfare and naval tactics continue to shape the study of naval history and strategy. Thank you for joining us on this historical adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating stories from the past. Until next time.